Local businesses need to balance safety with a need to generate revenue. That's the goal in this product design. It doesn't replace or try to emulate a booking system like Open Table, and it's not exclusively for restaurants either. It's less formal. It's more practical. Reservations can't be placed for dates well into the future, but only on a rolling seven-day basis. It enables a business to more easily manage customers in the current local business environment, and that environment is a moving target during a pandemic. Most importantly, it can be set up in minutes using ManyChat, Integramat, and Google Sheets, with templates for all of those systems. And of course, it's easily accessible through Messenger. If someone requests a day and a time, and the business is at capacity, but there are alternatives, the bot will suggest an alternative, then book the customer in. That's good CRM. Looking at the Google Sheet template, in the far left column you define all of your spaces. Maybe your spaces are tables in a restaurant or rooms in a hotel, but they could be circles in a park or roped off spaces at the beach. Maybe it's a co-working space or an office that is being responsible and limiting capacity there too. Once you define all of your spaces, you set the capacity for each space. What is the maximum number of people allowed in a space at any point in time? You can sum up the total capacity and then work backwards, but you'll then want to clear that cell so you only have a capacity number for each of the spaces you define. Each space also has a sequential ID and that's needed for this to work. The time slots are Google column headers and these are configurable too. It just needs to follow the same time format I have here by including the letter T in front of the time. But you can add your, your own hours of operation here. And the intervals of time between the columns are configurable too. Mine are set to be every 30 minutes. Once you have your data set up, there is a worksheet for each day of the week. So you just copy your data into all the worksheets for each day. So each day data gets collected and the data that is collected in the previous day gets cleared out so it's self-sustaining. You don't have to manually clear out data from cells. It's capturing reservations, storing the data, and clearing the data out on a rolling seven-day basis. On the ManyChat side, I made a simple flow that captures and stores values I need to book someone into a space, and I don't want someone to pick anything but a time slot that is on the hour or the half hour. Those are my intervals, so I used dialogue flow here to ensure I only get time input like 6.30 p.m. or 8 a.m. I can ensure I'm getting time in the format I need to book someone in. I can also get all of the values I need from a single message and then I can just respond with a mini chat flow if I have the required values. And if the user doesn't give me all of the values I need, I can just prompt them with a question and they can go further. They can't go further without giving me the data I need. So. Here I said, uh, can I book a spot for 6 p.m. tonight? It, I didn't tell the bot how many people, which is needed to uh, determine capacity, but I have the other values, which is tonight, and I've got a time. So the bot will then ask the user, uh, you know, how many people, so you can get that last value. And then when I have all the values, I just respond with a many chat flow and I confirm with the user. I'll then trigger Integramat here, and you can see that in these Integramat scenarios, it's routing data to Google Sheets and then back to many chat flows if there are time or capacity conflicts. It's also returning flows for success messages. I have an Integramat template, and you can just add your many chat webhook 
to connect these Integromat uh, modules to a ManyChat template. And there's also a Google Sheet template where your bot will read and write the data. And if you add the dialog flow piece, uh, there is a free dialog flow template so you can understand all of the things that users might say to book, change, or cancel a reservation. So there you go. A chatbot that can help local spaces manage capacity during a pandemic.